This is Mike from Windows7Forms.com and Windows8Forms.com. What you're looking at is the installation of build 7989 of Windows 8, an alpha development build. This is version 6.2.7989.0.amd64fre.winmain.110421-1825. You are witnessing the end of the installation. Uh, and we're doing this in Oracle's VirtualBox because VMware is not compatible with the installation of the ISO files that have uh, leaked out on the internet. Um, it's no shock for people to know that uh, builds of Windows 8 have leaked out onto the internet. Uh, we're seeing the beta fish that we know and love, uh, those of us who are into this software and are enthusiastic about it. Um, and what we're witnessing is really um, a great moment in history for the Windows operating system. Now, what you're going to notice at first is that this thing takes a very long time to install, not too long, uh, but it is uh, an alpha development build. And what that means is that it is not feature complete. There are features such as uh, the Metro UI or what is be being called the Metro UI, which is the tabular interface. Uh, that is still in development, and that is something that is not active by default in the operating system. This is a 64-bit version of the operating system. Um, pretty much what we're looking at here is something that uh, will change uh, the nature of computing uh, about a year or two from now. Uh, what you see now here is the Microsoft Confidential uh, setup screen and you enter your country, region, time, and currency, and keyboard layout. Uh, there you go, and you see it's 2011 Microsoft Corporation. Uh, we have some issues with uh, our virtual box there again, so please ignore it. And one thing you will notice with the installer is that it's just like the Windows 7 installer. We're going to enter our computer name here. We're just going to call it test win 8 and we're going to go ahead and hit next. We're going to go to home network for our computer's current location. That'll give us access to all our network shares. We're going to enter a username and password. Enter that twice and we're going to en enter a hint. Now, uh, the current iteration of Windows 8 is not unlike Windows 7, but there are significant changes and, and props need to be given to the development team, significant changes in, in the operating system already. This is pre-release software, and what this means is that you are bound to end-user end license agreement terms for pre-release software. It's very important that you read this information. If you do gain access to a copy of this software, it probably does have a time bomb in it. If it doesn't, you don't want to be running this thing in a production environment whatsoever. But for those of us who are enthusiasts, who are testers, who are developers, uh, these are things we want to see. Now, we can use recommended Windows Update. Chances are we won't be getting many with this build. Uh, and, of course, uh, we set our time zone. We click Next, and now uh, we're getting all set up. Uh, this build is uh, something to be looked at. It is the latest one that's leaked, uh, to my knowledge, thus far. Uh, in doing so, I hope to educate uh, and also demonstrate um, the changes in this operating system. So stand by as we uh, go ahead and launch into uh, Windows 8, build 7989. Windows 8 makes a beautiful appearance onto the desktop scene. While this version of Windows 8 is not designed for ARM processors or even for cell phones or tablet PCs, it certainly is a shock to see such an awesome operating system operating relatively flawlessly as a upgrade to Microsoft Windows 7. It should be noted that anyone even remotely considering running this operating system for any reason other than educational or research purposes should really just get lost. You have to be crazy to run an operating system that is in an alpha stage of development. What that means is that it is not even feature complete. Features are still being added. Kernel level code changes are underway. What we've seen so far is that there is something that's being uh, implemented called um, ma uh, driver malware scanning on boot up. And when we first boot up into Windows 8 here, we see something quite beautiful. We have a beautiful development background. Um, we have a, a, a great looking desktop, not unsimilar to, to Windows 7, but there are apparent differences 
near the system tray. If you look down uh, at the bottom right hand corner of the system tray, you will see an area where your user profile picture will go. Uh, you'll also see other areas uh, that are that are excellent. But um, Windows 8 includes a whole bunch of new features, and now we're really looking at it a little bit stretched out so we can get it to fit onto the screen here. And uh, it's going to blow people away. Now, we don't have the, uh, the new Metro UI interface activated. It requires registry hacks, and that's not a place we're going to go right now. What we are going to do is check this out. This looks like this build was unfortunately uh, leaked, by, leaked by someone at Hewlett Packard, one of the manufacturers Windows is likely, or Microsoft is likely working with. What we're going to do is go into the registry, and we're going to access the registry keys that help us determine uh, what build and what version of this operating system we're dealing with. And by doing that, we can sort of confirm the authenticity to a great degree um, about this OS. So we're going to go down to uh, Microsoft here. After going to HK Local Machine, we're going to go to Windows NT. Uh, I'm sorry, we're going to go over to Windows and uh, current version. And then you'll see that there. No, I'm sorry, we are going to go back to Windows NT, then current version. And you're going to see, yes, this is 7989 multiprocessor free. It's still being called Windows 7 Ultimate. That's how early we are in development here, that it's still considered Windows 7. Assumingly, once they pass the uh, 79, once they pass the 7 build mark, uh, we'll be in Windows 8 territory. But this is in uh, deep in development, and you can't judge an operating system based on that fact. What you can do is evaluate it and appreciate the contributions that the programmers have made so far, that the corporation has made towards the look, the design, the feel of the operating system, the, the direction that it appears to be going in. And what we really see is a streamlined version of, of Windows 7, and uh, it's an exciting version. And here we have something called a math panel. I'll try demonstrating this, try putting 1 plus 1 and uh, it's not really going to pick up on it because it's a little bit buggy here. No, or maybe I'm just not using it right. I don't know. But uh, it's still neat, isn't it? Look, it, it did create an equation. 1 plus 1 equals P. Uh, maybe P is a variable. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but uh, we have a great looking operating system that's going to blow people away when it's done. And uh, we're just getting started. So people who are interested in seeing what this thing looks like right now, well, you're not going to get too excited. There's not much to see. Uh, the, the new Metro interface requires some registry hacking. Accessing some of the new features requires some registry hacking. And it's my belief that this has probably been done in the event of a leak. If the software is leaked, they don't want people seeing this stuff yet. Uh, simply because it's not ready to be seen. And uh, that's something that's understandable. Now, if we go to system information, we see similar uh, data about the OS. And uh, we see uh, exactly what's going on here. Uh, we're in VirtualBox, right? We see the system manufacturer. Uh, we see the, uh, the build number here. One thing we do want to check out also after this is uh, the version of Internet Explorer that this thing is running because uh, we want to see if it's different than the version that is running in the latest version of Windows 7 Ultimate. And here you'll see the keyboard, and the key on-screen keyboard is obviously geared towards touchscreens, but also for accessibility. Um, theoretically, with a touchscreen device, uh, you should have no problem using the keyboard. Of course, even the keyboard is probably in development. But let's go over here and check out Internet Explorer. Now the version running in, in our world is 9.0.8112.16421, that's a later one. This is 9.0.798 uh, something something something. So it's a later, or it's an earlier Internet Explorer 9 than the one everybody else has. And that's probably the result of them not integrating the new IE. Uh